when you read aloud, it has such power and such energy, just the rhythm of the words, that it it does something to your breathing. So when you have to produce sound with your body, your breathing is engaged in a way that you cannot but think about it or become aware of it. So you're you're engaged physically with the words mm -hmm. and only then the words decant really slowly in your unconscious mind or somewhere else and they do their their soothing work but you're when you're very hurt or you're going yeah. through extreme pain I think it helps because it doesn't put pressure on your um, intellectual mind because often, you know, our minds go very fast, especially if you're very anxious yeah. or, or you're very hurt. So your, your thoughts go very quickly. So you can't make sense of them in the conventional way. So engaging with words on a physical level can be very liberating, as I say, because it can be liberating physically and it's soothing the mind and, and the emotions. And then there's a, a kind of a leftover um, effect, a secondary effect, where those meanings will will um, will work for you, whatever you do, even if you're asleep, if that makes any sense. Ah, 